Hey guys, and welcome back to Prison Architect Alpha 9. And here we are in our second prison. And, well, it's more than second, I think, by now. And we've got a bit of a power and a bit of a water problem. And look, look here, Charles, we paused the game because Charles is in here in his office going, Oh my god, Stun, what's going on? I can't see anything. I can't read. I can't write. And, you know, it's bloody well, you know, out of order. You know, I, I, I expect lights in my place of work. And you will get lights. You will get lights, Charles. Just as soon as we've worked out what is going wrong now... Maybe the power station's off. Is it off? Switch on. Well, let's get the game going and see if that's worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Hooray! Thank you very much, Jen. Now I can read to my heart's content. In fact, speaking of which, have you got a task? You, something you can make me read, perhaps? Something in the bureaucracy menu? Oh, yeah. Bureaucracy, right. We've, uh, we've finished health reading. So now we can read something else. Now, is it going to be finance, mental health, or maintenance? Um, hmm... Finance unlocks the accountant, also allows you to spend more each day, oh, than your income would normally allow, assuming you have the funds in reserve. Okay, let's try, let's, let's do that first then. Then we'll do maintenance, mental health, groundskeeping, and, uh, and cleaning. Okay, come out of this. Right, and let's go, oh, and 50 minutes until our first guests arrive. Oh no, but whenever we load the game again, it stops us from transferring in prisoners. So we're going to have to go to escape. Now, names in the game, I think it is. So we'll get Stjin. That's right, Paul Sykes is coming to prison. And... Duncan Jones is coming to prison. Now, I wonder if any of you guys have added any other characters from the Yogs cast. If I put Yogs, no. Let's see, Rithian, is he here? No. Lewis? No. Simon? Uh, there's a lot of Simons, but I don't know which one's Honeydew. Let's try Honey... Honeydew? Nope, I can't see anybody. So if, if you guys do add anybody to the game and the name gets updated, we will try and get those in there. So, let's get the game going and meet our new prisoners. They're going to arrive in 45 minutes. Now, a quick check to make sure everything's ready. Oh, and it's not. Everything is not ready because we don't have any guards. Right, so we need two guards and two chefs. So let's plop down two chefs in the kitchen. Bonjour, monsieur, c'est le Pierre, and I am going to cook for you the best prison food this side of the Mississippi, and that is not easy to say in the French accent, no sir. And, of course, he's a friend, Mario. Hey, Pierre, let's make some pasta. Shall we make some lasagna? Oh, oui, mais oui, let's make some, let's make some pasta. And, of course, put some baguettes in it, too. Oh, yes, I like what you're saying, uh, Pierre. You're, you're such a great chef. And uh, that's, that's our two cooks. So we need a couple of guards as well. Now, where are we going to put these burly chaps? We'll need one. Uh, actually, no, they'll probably come out when the prisoners arrive. So I'm just going to plonk one by the main door. I think that's a good place for a guard. Guarding the entrance. And I'm going to put another one in the canteen. Okay. Um, we should probably stretch the three guards, actually. I'm going to put another one at this intersection here. And actually, that's another point, because I want my prisoners to be able to get to the canteen. At the moment, they can't get to the canteen without going through the kitchen. So that's a bit of a bit of a nightmare situation right there. So let's go to rooms. Or rather, objects. Put some large jail doors in. Right there. Looks, looks just about right. Uh, yeah, that should do. And you guys mentioned that we're going to take a look at the regime, actually, before, um, before they do arrive. Now, you guys mentioned that they will fulfill their own needs when they have free time. So we'll make them shower in the morning. We'll give them a couple of hours to shower. And then we'll give them some free time up until lunchtime. So they can do what they want that way. Then they're going to eat. Then we'll give them more free time because, well, why not? And then are they going to eat again before they sleep? Oh, I don't know if we should do that. I don't know if we should bother. Um, well, I think they can they can pretty much shower and eat once a day and be happy, but we'll make sure they have plenty of variety with their meal and plenty of quantity. And we'll give them a few extra hours to sleep as well. So basically, they wake up, they shower, they do what they want, which means fulfill their needs. They eat, then they do what they want for four hours, then they eat, then they sleep. Man, the life of a prisoner seems pretty swish at the moment. So let's close that. And what else? The final touches before they arrive. Of course, there's a couple of things we do need. We'll need a common room, I think. A place where prisoners can go and relax. That's quite important. 
and we're going to need a, uh, a few phone boxes in the yard. Now to do this, I'm going to split the yard in two. I'm going to go to foundations, going to get the building foundation, and I'm going to make half of the yard a common room, and half of the yard be a yard. So that'll go in, go in like that. Oh, it's paused, auto-saving. Now because the other corners were connected to walls, it only builds one wall, and then that will get built, and we'll put a door there, and that should uh, let people into the common room. And we're going to, oh, let's get rid of the, uh, oh, well, we'll leave the template there, because that's to remind us that when we expand, we're going to be expanding into here. At the moment, we're a bit stretched for our funds, though, so we'll we'll leave it a bit and make sure our existing prisoners are all nice and happy before we get any more. Right, so, how many cells we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 16 cells, so we can hold 16 prisoners. Now, I'm not sure if when we ask for more prisoners, it gives us just the right amount of prisoners for our cells, or if it gives us an automatic 8. So, another thing we'll need is phone phone boxes, so that our guys can call their family. Now, where are the phone boxes? There they are. And we'll plonk those uh, against the wall. They may need power, actually, so... I have to be careful with that. And five should do us. Now, let's, uh, let's go. And let's await our new guests. Now, while they're on their way down, we'll go into materials. Put down some swanky flooring, I think. Now, of course, mahogany floors for the office. Oh, I say, I say, Stin, you are a man of excelsior taste, I say. Mahogany floors? Oh, gosh, gosh damn. I'm so lucky to be working here. That's right, that's right, Charles. You are very lucky to be working here. And if you slip up... Just once. I'm going to fire your ass. You heard me. Right, in goes the mahogany. Really expensive and uh, really frivolous, but why not? Nothing but the best in our prison. Now, what's a cheap floor indoors for just general flooring? Wow, some of these some of these floorings have had their, their prices jacked up quite a lot. Now, we're going to use white tiles in the kitchen, I think. And in the canteen. Oh, no, those cookers are facing the wrong way. Well, we're going to have to dismantle those and put them the right way, I think. Dismantle. And dismantle. And when they, when you dismantle them, you get them back in your inventory. But you can replace them so that they're facing against the wall. That's pretty important. All our sinks are facing the right way. And everything's A-OK everything's -okay up the top there. So that's okay. Now, these workers are putting in the floorboards. Oh, good job, guys. Oh, two minutes. One minute. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, let's uh, ooh, deselect the cooker. And here they are. Oh, yes. Here we go. Now let's zoom in on these scumbags and welcome them to the party. Welcome to... And that's another thing. Before we introduce ourselves to the prisoners, I read through your comments. Oh, that's loud. I read through your comments and one name stood out. Yogatraz. This should be Yogatraz. It's like Alcatraz, but with a bit of yog in there. So let's take a look at these jokers. Ian Morgan, sentenced to 24 years for arson. Just a stock prisoner there. We've got Benjamin Sadler, another stock prisoner, 14 years for manslaughter. Oh, Stefan SDK Krauth. Stefan is the crazy IT guy. He managed to hack the Central Bank of Europe. Oh my God. This guy's, this guy's a serious, serious hacker here. He got arrested five days after he posted the tutorial on YouTube. Oh, Stefan. When will criminal learn that when they post evidence of themselves committing the crime on YouTube, they get arrested? Okay. Adam Ranger. It's eight years for carjacking. Okay, he's pretty pretty vanilla. Oh, it's me! Oh wow, this time I've got a different haircut. I'm still I'm still I'm still uh, I'm still very tanned, which is slightly incorrect, but Paul Stin was a happy man working at a large dirt manufacturing facility with his boss until one day I fell into the dirt secret recipe mixer. Oh yeah, we know this story. Well, that's me. So does that- Oh, look at Duncan! Oh yeah! His hair's almost the right colour, but he doesn't quite have a beard as majestic as that. And he was, of course, arrested for illegally breeding dinosaurs. Oh, now get this! Duncan has a wife and a son? Who knew? Well, I look forward to meeting them when we set up uh, a visitation chamber. It's gonna be pretty cool. Right now, this guy is um, serious business, so I think we should probably put Duncan under the maximum security uh, setting. Now, what convictions does Duncan have? He's got manslaughter, criminal damage, and perjury. Okay, and what do I have? Arson and perjury. Oh, okay, and I've served four years. Duncan served five. 
Right, so welcome to Yoga Trance, guys. Hope you enjoy your stay. Jokes, hope you don't enjoy your stay because it's going to be painful and grueling and... S oh, I don't like how guards... Oh, I don't like how guards have to let people... Let guards through those, um... Those jail doors now, actually. It's a bit of a pain. Right, so in go the phones. The Flintstone phones. And here come our, our, our likely prisoners. So the guard's going to have to escort them to their, their cells. Now, I hope these guys stand around long enough for this guard to do that job. And while he's doing that, let's just double check everything's going in okay. All the mahogany floors are going into place. That's good. Oh, right, of course, right. Our common room needs an entrance. So let's see. We're going to go to objects. And we'll put just a normal door in here. Because I don't mind the prisoners getting into the... Um, the common room. In fact, they should be able to. And this means they can get to the yard without going through the secure jail door as well. And that's quite important, I think. I'm also going to put a, uh, a door on the medical ward there. Right, so. Let's get back to flooring. Now, materials. White tiles, of course, in the shower. What else? $900, but well worth it. Now, what are the prisoners going to have in their cells? I think, hmm, concrete floor? Ceramic floor? Oh, that's too expensive. I want a $10 floor. Mosaic floor for the, for the, um... For the cells, I think. There we go. And we can drag those across, and it doesn't matter if they go over the walls. Okay. Oh, wow. They already want to go into the shower. Oh. Whoops. Why can't I... Okay, these guys are going back to their cells. Yeah, again, it's, it's a bit of a pain... These doors being um, being locked shut. So door door mode normal selected door mode locked shut door mode locked open. I'm gonna lock the shower door open so guys can just go in and have a shower whenever they want. Uh, what else needs to be locked open? I'm gonna lock open the canteen doors as well. So that if they want to go and have a bite to eat, they can do that. And also the yard door is gonna be locked open as well. Now as soon as this door goes in, we can start building. The common room. Oh, Mr. Sykes, what are you doing? Are you exercising, are you? Look at this guy running around. Sprightly chap. Okay, in goes the door. Now be careful, you don't want to get caught outside when the door goes in, Mr. Sykes. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, he's going to be inside when the... Oh! Oh, he almost got caught in the wall. Almost got insta-gibbed. Well, wow. okay, so now let's go to rooms. Common room. Where are you? There it is. Drag it down, and we'll get some nice floor in there as well. Something, something swish. Fancy tiles. Think, it's, think that's a, that's a good choice. Now objects. What are they going to have in their common room? I guess. Ooh, a pool table. Yeah, why not? Nice pool table. We'll plonk a uh, couple down the bottom. They're a bit expensive, but you know we want we want this in case the prisoners riot. And we have a nice big flat screen TV. Well, it's not quite flat screen, but it's still a TV. So we'll put one there, and uh, I think one there, and we need uh, something that, for them to sit on while they watch it. Is there a couch, maybe? Oh, a bench should do. Okay, so I'll put a bench, oh, let's see. There? Yeah, why not? I'll plunk one there. And a bookshelf in case any of these guys decide that they can read. Like that. Okay, that looks good. Now, uh, am I running out of cash? No, I've still got quite a lot of bank. So, I think metal detectors are a big one. Now, where do we want metal detectors? Where, where are prisoners going to need metal detectors? Well, before they go into their cells, it's quite important. But the big danger is that they'll smuggle out um, something from the canteen. So, we'll put one there and there. And we'll put one... Where else are we going to put a metal detector, I think? Um, well, we can't really afford to put one anywhere else, so we're just going to leave it like that for the moment. Okay, so welcome to the prison, guys. Any problems? Let's check reports and needs. Oh, we can't. We need, an, we need a psychologist to prepare this. So, Charles? Yes, yes, what do you want, Jen? What do you want? Oh, you want me to read again, do you? Bureaucracy and or mental health? Why not? Why not, I say? Why not? Okay, so we've got, a, we've got an accountant now as well, so let's put her down. Where is she going to go? You can go there. That'll be your office. Great. Now, oh. 
a bug apparently is that we can't put down a medical ward until we have a doctor. As you can see, look, look there, infirmary is blocked. So we're going to have to put down a doctor. And then, oh, that was a weird noise. What noise did you make? I made no such noise. That's entirely inappropriate. And get your mouse pointer off me. Oh, that's, that's sexual harassment, that is. Okay, okay. So now that she's in, I should be able to put down an infirmary. Oh, and I can. Perfect. Now, morgue. I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't know if I need a morgue because, well, no one's going to die. Not on my watch. No, sir. Let's put some medical beds in there. Where are they? Bed? Is that a bed? But it's not a medical bed. It's a special type of medical bed, isn't there? I'm pretty sure. There it is. Right. We'll put medical beds. Oh, let's see. Across the bottom, I think. Put one there. One there. One there. And one there. And one there. And five beds should be should be okay for us. I mean, I don't expect too many people to get injured. And if there are fights, well, the guards will have to put, put those fights to rest quite quick. Right, so our cash flow at the moment is 260. That means we make $260 a day, which isn't very good at the moment. So we might have to fire some of the workers once we get these jobs done. Now, for the yard, what am I going to put in the yard? I think maybe grass for these guys. What do you think? Grass in the yard? Or paving stone, actually. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one because, I mean... Um, with grass, people will traipse in all the mud and dirt into their cells, and that's terrible. I don't want to have to clean up after those guys. So we'll put a stone floor in for the yard, and these guys can just, you know, tip-tap away at that. Oh, we have to move that bench, actually, because I think it's blocking the uh, the door. Dismantle. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, right, they, they have to get through the door, and this guard will let them through. Right, so. Hurry up, Charles. Read, account, read, uh, read mental health, because we need to know what these prisoners need. Meanwhile, Mario and Pierre are having a, a gay old time in the kitchen. Oh, mais oui, Mario is such a good chef. Hey, that's right. And, uh, and, uh, and Pierre is not so bad at cooking too. Oh, he's very good. Okay, great. So let's re-put down these cookers. Objects. Cooker. And now we'll tap until they're facing the right way. That looks about right. There and there. Now, what's going on now? Oh. What are the what are, what are the Oh, where are the workers going now? Okay, here they are. Now what what needs to be done now? What are they doing? Let's click on him. Doesn't say where he's going. He's coming out to deliveries. Is he coming out to deliveries? They are doing stuff. It's just they're taking a, a, a right old time to do it. Yeah, he's coming over here to put down these things and pick up these boxes. Okay, that's cool. Right. So, we're going to need uh, a psychologist any second now. Let's check bureaucracy, see how that's doing. Two hours, so that means two minutes, basically. An hour is a minute in real life. So, yeah, everything's going great. At Yogatraz, our prison's looking pretty tight, pretty swish. And our prisoners aren't giving us any trouble. Isn't that right? Mr. Jones. Are you enjoying your cell, Mr. Jones? Are you having a good time? Would you like something to read? Would you like a book? How about a TV? Would you like a TV? Do you want to watch Jeremy Kyle? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Mr. Jones? Is, is, would you like a television in your cell? Yeah, I, I, think, he, I think that guy wants a TV. 